I'm glad to be at Foundations of Social Work, but night school's hard. Might be hard, but it's not as hard as being a temporary secretary. I hate working as a temporary secretary. But it's better than having a huge student loan like my sister. Interest makes it impossible to keep up and pay off. The professor is writing all over the board, and I'm writing what he's writing. Jane Adams and Mary Richmond. I like this professor. He's a soft guy, smart and quiet. He's wearing a gingham shirt tonight, blue and white check. Makes me think of kitchen curtains, and I'm feeling like I'm starting to daydream, thinking about clothing made of curtains, like the sound of music, but this is the version for social work. He's still writing, Jane Adams and Hull House. Mary Richmond, scientific philanthropy, dependence, social morality. Jane Adams seems nicer than Mary Richmond. She lives in a house on the wrong side of the tracks, and she's a little edgy. And this room is full of angry people. Workers from the welfare office retraining to do the job they're already doing. They're angry, and they're taking it out on the guy in the gingham curtains. When they question him, he laughs this laugh. Nah! It's a nervous laugh. Nah! It's like he's in some kind of pain, but he's trying not to let people see it. He and one of the angry workers are talking about the era of retrenchment, debating about quasi-governmental organizations. The welfare worker asks him how we know the Quango actually provides the services they say they do. Nah! <laughs> he laughs, explaining about the board of directors. She asks him, who polices them? He laughs. Nah, nah, nah. I hate this. I suspect she is more like Mary Richmond than Jane Addams. Social morality. I am more like Jane Addams. Social change. I wonder if I can find a place like Hull House to work at. I think he'd work there too. Maybe that's where he got his shirt. Jane Addams gingham curtains. Maybe they give it to you when you graduate. The social work gingham shirt. The uniform. The blue and white collar shirt. The debate rages on and I'm dozing. I can hear him talking, but I can't really focus. He's talking about group homes and homes for seniors. For profit, he writes on the board, explaining that child welfare agencies buy services from group homes. The company owns the service and they can make a profit if they can sell the beds. He starts to talk about seniors' homes. They can make a profit. Now suddenly I feel jolted awake into hyper-awareness. Um, how can this be? I shift in my seat. doesn't make any sense. I'm really confused. Not a wage, but profit. Hmm, how can this be? What does the social in social work actually stand for? I thought it was like socialist or at least social democratic. I must not have read the information sheet right. It must mean something else. So you can say you're caring for kids, but you can also be caring for profit. Hmm. Profiting off abused kids and old people. I squirm in my chair. This feels bad. Somebody always loses when profit's involved. Hmm. I shift in my seat again. I wonder if he knows this. As I sit in my desk, I feel a lump forming in my throat. It's like a big sinkhole is opening up underneath me. The guy in the gingham shirt has noticed my shifting. He's walking towards my desk. I think, you're wrong. Now he stands over me, looking down at me, and I feel like I'm falling. He looks at me and says, you look like you have something to say. I can feel my mouth dry out. Professor, sir. Nah, don't call me professor. Uh... I thought it was illegal to make money off the misery of other people and off of people with problems. It just seems like it's wrong to make money because people suffer. And at that, the room erupts in an uproar. Someone else laughs. Someone smashes their hands on the desk. Someone yells, She's crazy! That's crazy talk! And he laughs, Nah, 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 nah! He laughs from deep inside, and he stands over me, looking down at me, and at that moment, I feel like he reaches out to me 
and I sort of spiritually grab onto him, avoiding the sinkhole. Yes, he says, you make a great point.